to explain exactly what that is. County Executive Steve Stanger, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS. McGraw, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. You got it. What is Prop P? Prop P is a one-half of one-cent sales tax that is dedicated to police and public safety. And who is going to vote on it? It will be all of the voters in St. Louis County will have an opportunity to vote on this on April 4th, Tuesday. So this is just for St. Louis County? This is just for St. Louis County, and it generates about $80 million annually for police and public safety, and the revenue is divided between uh, the county and municipalities based on population. What is the $80 million a year going to go for? The $80 million a year uh, in St. Louis County is going to go for uh, approximately 100 more officers, uh, new equipment for those officers. Uh, it's going to also go for a program that will allow us to have two officers to a police car, which is extremely important for a number of reasons. Uh, you said it's going to go. Now, the interesting thing about St. Louis County, it, they, we have. And, and many other things, too. I didn't quite get to finish my list, uh, but oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, no, no. Finish, finish that because that's the e important. What else is that money going for? Sure. And we're, we're, we're also instituting a program for police cameras, uh, for dashboard cameras, for modern technology with respect to policing. And we've done a little bit of that uh, already, but we need uh, additional funding to do even more. Do you have any uh, estimates as to how much it would cost the quote-unquote average family of four? You know, it, it really depends on just how much you consume and how much you spend, but for an average, let's say, $100 purchase, it costs you 50 cents. 50 cents extra. Um, it, and this is going to be in perpetuity? It would, it would be in, into perpetuity, yes. All right. Uh, now, St. Louis County has a St. Louis County Police Department, but they also have the uh, Pine Lawn Police Department, the Ferguson Police Department, and so on and so forth. You're saying that all of this money will be distributed equally among all of those, depending on population? It gets distributed by population, so the largest municipalities receive the most money the smallest municipalities of course would receive the smallest amount of money yeah a lot of people and, and they and it and it really varies quite a bit so you know some of our tiniest municipalities who have just a few people get quite literally just a few dollars right um and it's just st louis county it is just for st louis county mcgraw um it's problems in the city problems in st st charles not so much but was there ever any talk of doing a city-county joint venture or expanding this to be more regional? You know, because we are different jurisdictions with different priorities, you know, I'll tell you, in, in St. Louis County, uh, we're trying to avoid uh, certain possibilities, and, and what we want to do is is really get a hold on crime while we have a hold on it. You know, I mean, we, we see certain areas in the county where we have upticks in crime, and, uh, you know, what we're trying to avoid is a situation where you know, as it, as it, as it has occurred in, in other places in our region where crime has become just so very serious that uh, I think some extreme measures are going to have to be taken to, yeah, but to, to fix those things. If you look at this from the, the big picture, you have the city that's voting on Metrolink and an MLS uh, stadium, and you have the county voting on money for police officers. It seems like there's a lot of individual things going on here and not a lot of talk about regionalism and or helping or spreading the cost of all of these things uh, amongst us all. Well, what we have is we have, a we have a region that has different jurisdictions, and each jurisdiction expresses their priorities differently. In St. Louis County, our number one priority is keeping people safe. We want to keep our we want to we want to basically keep our officers safe while they're keeping us safe, which is why we want to see Prop Prop P move forward. You know what they're doing in the city. I don't have, you know, I don't have any right. authority over the city. No, no, no. Right. So they have to express their priorities as they express them. And, and this is the same in every region across the country. I mean, every jurisdiction is different, and they express their priorities differently. And I, and I can't tell you just how serious I am about public safety and keeping our people safe, and really keeping our police safe as they keep us safe. We've just had too many instances where we've seen officers injured, shot, uh, you know, on the job for us. And uh, this two officers to a car would, would I think, go a long way in, in helping that situation. Steve Stanger, uh, point five, uh, uh, fifth, point f uh, give me the numbers again on what the tax is going to sure, be. Sure, it's one half of one cent uh, sales tax. So, like I said, for a, for a one hundred dollar purchase, it's fifty cents. Uh, for a ten dollar purchase, it's a nickel. And uh, what is the uh, supposedly eighty million dollars in revenue going to go for? 
and, in, and the $80 million in revenue in the county is going to go for additional police officers. In, in the county, it's going to be 100-plus more officers. It's going to go for two officers to a vehicle. It's going to go for uh, body cameras, dashboard cameras, uh, modern technology equipment, and, and basic equipment as well. Steve Stanger, um, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, turns out April 4th on the ballot. Steve Stanger, County Executive, thanks for checking in. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You got it. 755 here at Big 550 KTRS. Um, it is interesting, though, the regional aspect of this. Mm -hmm. You've got crime rampant in the city, and the mm -hmm. county is putting the tax on to help the police officers. I know. And the city is making sure you got Metrolink and an MLS stadium. And a stadium. It's just, you know. I'm, I'm not making a, I'm not making a, a, a judgment. I'm just saying no, those just, are the facts. It's just an interesting comparison. Yeah, and and when when people talk about regionalism, mm -hmm. I know so many people who in the county who say, "Boy, I sure would like to vote on that MLS thing." And why aren't we kicking in and everything else? <laughs> and I think and, and people in the city are like, "Boy, I wish we could pay our officers more and hire more officers." Right. Yeah. Seven fifty six, big five fifty, KTR.